HMS Offridi was a tribal class destroyer of the Royal Navy launched in 1907 and sold for scrap in 1919. During the First World War she served in the North Sea in the English Channel with the 6th Destroyer Flotilla and as part of the Dover Patrol. It is assumed, though never definitely confirmed, that explosive sweeps deployed by Offrey D were responsible for the destruction of the German U-boat SMUB-13, which on April 23, 1916 departed Zeebrugge for a patrol off the mouth of the Thames and was never heard from again. HMS Offrey D was ordered from Armstrong Whitworth in September 1905, one of five tribal-class destroyers ordered for the Royal Navy as part of the 1905-06 shipbuilding program. Design of the ships was left to the builders, with the Admiralty only laying down loose requirements, although the builders' designs did need to be approved by the Director of Naval Construction before orders were placed. The destroyers were required to reach 33 knots, and have a range of 1,500 nautical miles at cruising speed and an endurance of 8 hours at full speed. The ships were required to be powered by steam turbines, with cruising turbines fitted to improve range, fed by oil-fired boilers. Freeboard was to be at least 15 feet 6 inches at the ship's bow. Armament was 2B3 12-pounder guns, with the older 1200-weight gun chosen to save money, and two 18-in torpedo tubes. It was realized during construction that the armament of the tribals was too light, with the two ships ordered as part of the 1906-07 program being armed with two 4-inch guns. In October 1908, it was decided to strengthen the armament of the first five tribals, including Offrey D, by adding another two 12-pounder guns. This was done to Offrey D prior to acceptance by the Royal Navy. Armstrong's design used five Yarrow water tube boilers to feed steam turbines supplied by the Parsons Marine Steam Turbine Company rated at 14,250 shp. These drove three propeller shafts, with one propeller per shaft. Three short funnels were fitted. The two forward 12-pounder guns were mounted side-by-side side on the ship's forecastle, with the third gun aft. Two spare torpedoes were carried. Offrey D was laid down at Armstrong's Ellswick shipyard in August 1906 and was launched on May 8, 1907. The ship's trials were troublesome, with propeller and turbine problems being encountered, with poor weather and industrial action causing delays. She finally met her contract speed during February 1909, when a speed of 33. 25 knots was reached, although this required forcing the ship's engines to give 21,000 shp. Offrey D was commissioned on September 10, 1909, 26 months after the contracted date, the last destroyer to be built by Armstrong's, joining the 1st Destroyer Flotilla. By 1913, Offrey D had joined the 4th Destroyer Flotilla, based at Portsmouth. In October that year, the tribals were officially designated the F-Class, and as such the letter F was painted on Offrey D's bow. In February 1914, the tribals, whose range was too short for effective open sea operations, were sent to Dover, forming the 6th Destroyer Flotilla. On the outbreak of the First World War, the 6th Flotilla formed the basis of the Dover Patrol, with which the tribal class, including Offrey D, served for the duration of the war. Early in the war, the main means of detecting submerged submarines was the indicator net, in which a submarine would get caught up in the net, with movement of an attached buoy indicating the location of the submarine. On February 20, 1915, the destroyer Viking spotted a disturbance in indicator nets in the Dover Straits, and signaled to Offrey D to deploy her explosive anti-submarine sweep, but no submarine was found. On April 6, 1915, the drifter Hyacinth spotted a periscope of the German submarine SMU-33 and called up Offrey D, which was nearby. While the submarine carried away a section of the netting, the indicator buoys did not deploy, so U-33 was able to escape unscathed. On March 24, 1916, the cross-channel ferry Sussex was torpedoed by the German submarine SMUB-29. Offrey D was one of a number of destroyers sent to respond to distress signals from the damaged ferry, and helped in the rescue operations. In order to counter German destroyers armed with 105mm guns, which outgunned British destroyers of the Dover Patrol, a number of the tribal class were rearmed. Offrey D had her 12-pounder guns replaced by two 4.7-inch QF guns between April and October 1917, also receiving a single 2-pounder pom-pom autocannon anti-aircraft gun and a Maxim machine gun. On 22-23 April, Offrey D took part in an attack on the German-held port of Ostend in Belgium, which took place at the same time as a similar attack on Zeebrugge, with the objective of denying the use of these ports for German surface vessels and submarines. Offrey D formed part of the escort for the blockships HMS Sirius and HMS Brilliant, 
which were to be scuttled in the harbor entrance, while monitors bombarded the port with heavy guns. While the attack on Zeebrugge was a partial success, the Ostend part of the operation was a failure, as the block ships missed the entry to the harbor and run aground, so that the port was not blocked. Offrey D along with Zubian, Cossack and Viking were all offered for sale at Immingham in November 1919. Offrey D was sold for scrapping on December 9, 1919, and was eventually sunk as a target on April 9, 1930. Thanks for watching.